Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Pelvic floor disorders are a very common problem and they encompass a wide range of conditions. So it includes urinary incontinence, it includes urinary retention and all kinds of lower urinary tract dysfunction like bladder dysfunction. It includes colorectal problems such as constipation and fecal incontinence and then it also encompasses uterovaginal prolapse and that's where the vagina essentially herniates out through the vulva as things bulge out. It's commonly called a, a dropped bladder or a rectocele or a cystocele or, or things like that. Why does it happen? What causes this problem? The etiologies are multifactorial, meaning it's often a genetic component. It's usually related to obstetrical events, so having labor and vaginal deliveries. It's also something that we tend to see in our older patients. So urinary incontinence starts to appear in the 40s and the 50s and prolapse more in the 40s, 50s and 60s. Some of it also relates to the loss of estrogen, but the big factors are genetic and obstetric. The important idea to remember about incontinence and prolapse is that these are quality of life problems. And one of the points we make to all of our patients, anytime we intervene, anytime we do something for a patient, whether it's surgical or non-surgical, is with the goal of making your life better. So the time to start seeking help is when it starts to affect your life. If you have one decision to make, you want to go to a place where somebody's going to talk to you, and help you understand what's going on so that you can make a good decision of what's the best way for you to manage this problem. And at UMass, we counsel our patients that our job is to answer questions and help our patients understand what's happening. For more health news, stay tuned to Health Watch or you can check on chartertv3.com and click on the Health Watch page.